What up everybody? Back again here with our negative number unit. Today we're going to be talking about shortcuts for adding integers. So if you've been with us from the beginning and you've been faithfully drawing out your number line so you can conceptually understand what's happening, you are going to love today. So let's dive under the water and see what our objective is today. Today I will be able to solve adding integer questions by using the shortcut, which means no more number lines, right? Number lines are a great way to introduce it so you can conceptually understand what's happening, but nobody wants to be 65 drawing out number lines. So we have a shortcut to help you know what you're doing. So here are my two flow maps to help me know what I'm doing when I am adding integers or rational numbers for that matter, right? So if you don't know what flow maps are, check out Thinking Maps. They are awesome. They don't pay me to say that, but they should. I will take any money I can get. The first question, it's kind of like a choose your own adventure. The first question you need to ask yourself is, do your add-ins have the same sign or different sign? So we know when we go back, we talk about an addition question. We know that the numbers we're adding together are your parts or your add-ins, and they make your total or your sum. So we're going to ask ourselves, are both of these positive or negative, or are they different? Is one positive and one's negative? If they're both the same, then you're going to add the numbers, and you're going to keep the sign. So go ahead and write this down in your notes. We'll do an example so you can see what I'm talking about, but a very simple thing to do. If they are different, so if one is negative and one is positive, you're going to subtract the numbers by putting the number with the biggest absolute value on top, okay? You're going to take the sign of that number with the largest absolute value and put it on to your answer. Okay, so two very simple things to do. We're going to ask ourselves the first question and then follow our flow map. So let's take a look at our I do problem. So we have two problems right here that are the exact same. I just flipped them. We have 5 plus negative 3 and then negative 3 plus 5. Then we have negative 3 plus negative 5 and negative 5 plus negative 3. So both of these are the same. I just switched the order of the add-ins. So the first question you're going to ask ourselves when we're solving 5 plus negative 3, are the signs the same or are they different? Well, 5 is positive and negative 3 is negative, so they have different signs. I'm going to go down to my flow map for when they have a different sign. And the first step is to subtract the two numbers, putting the number with the absolute value first or on top. So 5 minus 3 is going to be 2. I knew I was doing 5 minus 3 because five has a bigger absolute value than negative three, right? Negative three would be three, five would be five. Now, the sign of the number with the biggest absolute value is positive, right? Because the five was positive, which means I'm just going to make my answer positive and leave it as two. For this one, again, I have to ask myself the question, are they the same sign or different? Well, here I have negative three and here I have positive five. So again, I need to subtract them. I'm going to put the number with the biggest absolute value on top. So 5 has a bigger absolute value than negative 3. So I'm going to do 5 minus 3. My answer is going to be 2. And then the number with the biggest absolute value is positive, which means I leave this as positive. So now instead of having to draw out your number line and cross over 0 and decompose it, you can just take the shortcut. Here, I have to ask myself again the question, are they the same sign or different? And both of these add-ins are negative, so they have the same sign, which means I'm simply going to add the numbers like they're positive. So 3 plus 5 is 8, and then I keep the sign that they were. Both of these were negative, so I just leave my answer as negative. Here again, I just flipped them, so 5 plus 3 is 8. Both my add-ins were negative, so I leave my 8 as negative. So very simple steps that you can follow now instead of drawing a number line. Let's, Let's take, take a look, look at a you try. So if you're ready to try this one by yourself and you can follow the flow map, okay, go ahead and push pause and you can solve it and then push play to check your work. If not, that's totally okay. You can do this as a we do problem with me. So hopefully you just paused and you at least tried it. So the first question I need to ask myself when I'm adding integers is, are they the same sign or are they different? Well, here I have negative nine and here I have a positive 18. So these are different. So I go to my different flow map, and the first thing I need to do is I need to subtract them by putting the number with the biggest absolute value first. So 18 has a bigger absolute value than negative 9, so I'm going to subtract them. I'm going to get 9, okay? So my answer is 9, and then I keep the sign of the number with the biggest absolute value. So my 18 was positive, which means I leave my answer as positive. 
If my 18 was the negative one, then I would make my answer negative. Let's try negative 104 plus negative 98. So again, these are both the same, which means all I'm gonna do is I'm going to add them. So 104 plus 98 is 12. I'm gonna regroup, that's gonna be 10, regroup. So my answer is gonna be 202. And then my sign that was the same was negative, which means I need to make my answer negative and my answer is going to be negative 202. Hopefully you enjoyed this shortcut. It's pretty quick and easy. Just make sure you follow your flow map as you get to learn how to do it in practice, and eventually you won't even need that. Thank you so much for checking out Instructor Beats today. Check out the rest of our negative number playlist. If this is the first lesson you're watching, we encourage you to go back and watch our lessons on how to do this on a number line so you don't just learn the shortcut. Again, thank you so much. Instructor Beats, out.